Hi, this is Lisa Kaiser and I am currently taking an MSDE class on Google and I am going to be sharing with you uh, something I discovered through that class called the Explore tab. It was not something that I knew was there and I thought that perhaps some of you would like to know about it as well. Um, Explore tab, I'm on a Google Doc right now. I've typed up a little bit about elephants. You can get to the Explore tab by coming down here to the plus sign in the lower right or going up under Tools and one of your options under tools is explore and here's what it looks like when you open it up so it has automatically scanned my document and it is suggesting these three topics i can do more or these three pictures i can take those or i can go up here and type in it's like having a google search except that i don't have to leave my document which how convenient is that so i'm going to type in types of elephants and get some more information it can search the web it can search images. It can even search my own Google Drive. So here are a couple of articles that I can look for. I can leave by clicking on this and going out to the web and seeing the whole article. Here's a part that I really like for older kids. It's so important to get them used to citing their sources. So if I go up here to Google, the, where the web search web results are, I can change the format of my citation. Let's say I just want to keep it on MLA. And if I took something from this article and I want to cite it, I'm just going to go ahead and cite it. And you'll see over here in my document, there's a very small one. Whoops, my picture is now covering that. Very small one, which would be after the information I added. And down here, the footnote is automatic. So how neat is that, that we don't have to worry, have the kids worry about the formatting so much as just citing that source. Here's another thing that will happen in a slideshow. Whoops, I already had it open. Um, but it will change. Um, if you open up the Explorer tab, it will give you suggestions on how to set up that, um, that slide to make it just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Now, this is one I had already changed, but I, um, I had a very basic one with just a picture and the title, and these were the suggestions that it gave me. Now, once you're past that, you can still type in here. It'll still give you the same options you had on the Google Doc. Here is something else really neat. So in Sheets, this is a sheet that I came up with. Um, I'm one of the lead teachers at Ruth Ann Monroe, and our, our second graders transitioned to Eastern Elementary. And Eastern Elementary wanted to know how involved the students had been in distance learning. Um, that would be vital information for them to know in preparation for the beginning of the year. So this was a spreadsheet that I came up with to, to um, let them know um, how involved our kids were. And I just took off the names so, because we don't need to see those. Explore, you're not going to want to research when you're in a sheet. So instead, the Explore tab does something a little bit different. The Explore tab will allow you to ask questions about your data. It will also give you some options. A pivot table is like pulling out some specific information and putting that someplace separate so it's easier to interpret. It'll analyze things. It gives you several suggestions of what, what makes sense for that data. So if I go up here and I say week of 525, how many, uh, I want to know how many were fully engaged. And so we used an F to indicate that they were fully engaged. So I don't want to count it. Oops. Well, I might have to read that, reword that question. Let's see. Week of how many Fs were there? Let's see if that does it. All right, it's giving me some suggestions, but I know I got it to work earlier. You can ask it some questions. So how many Fs in week 525? See, now it's frustrating me and I want to get it to work. <laughs> okay. So it told me, yay, I worded it correctly. So I had to try a couple of different times, but it told me I didn't have to go through and count how many there were. Um, and yes, you can come up with a formula to do that if you know how, but right here you can type in a question and it will answer it for you. I have to try a different couple of different questions. All right, so that's the Explore tab. I hope that you would, fi you would find that helpful just to be able to get images in, get your site, uh, sources cited, or ask some questions. Thank you.